Today we're going to be talking about hair care and I have been trying to take care of my hair ever since I cut it a while ago. Just nourish it back into health because my hair was really really damaged. I would do my hair basically every day, heat, hairspray, and it was not good at all because in the beginning my hair kind of felt full but then after a while it felt um, kind of dead. So. After cutting my hair, I decided to have a fresh start. Basically, I have been using a lot of Chi products to maintain my hair, and I do use alternative products also. So it's not all Chi, but a majority is going to be Chi. I bought all this by myself. You can find it at Marshall's TJ Maxx for around, I think, $8 and up. So it depends on what you're buying. Usually what I do in the shower is shampoo my hair, infra shampoo, and this is what I've been using, and then... If my hair was dry, I would either condition only the ends or condition my whole head. When I condition my whole head, I choose it on a day that I wouldn't go out the next day because it makes my hair really flat, quite oily, and this is the Infra Treatment, which is the conditioner. I like to use this conditioner because it is quite volumizing. It's not as bad as most conditioners that would kind of weigh my hair down. And I also have leave-in conditioners that I really don't use often. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Leave-In Conditioner. And this, you may think it's a heat protectant, but I use all the heat protectant. And the nozzle for the leave-in conditioner broke, so I just transferred it all into the heat protectant bottle. So this is the Dove leave-in conditioner, even though it's in the heat protectant bottle. I would air dry, I would go to sleep. I usually shower at night. I don't shower in the morning. I hear that... Girls tend to shower at night and guys tend to shower in the morning. The reason I don't shower in the morning is because I really don't want to sleep in filth because I feel like it's so disgusting. It's so bad for your skin, just all that dirt and grime and all that, you know, just, ugh, just can't do it. I just can't sleep and roll around and that just disgusts me. But if I want to go out the next day, then I would definitely just do the tips. After that, if I left it in, I would wash myself and stuff. Kind of work to share. But I would get out. Towel dry my hair. I never blow dry my hair to dry it. Always air dry it. And when my hair is semi damp, then I would use this. This is the Quarantine Mist. And I would spray this on first because this Chi Silk Infusion thing is way too oily for my fingers after I spray. So I would have to spray so that my fingers don't get all slippery on the little nozzle thing. Definitely always use this after I shower, no matter what kind of shampoo I use. I always put these two in my hair. They're kind of, well, the Quarantine Mist is supposed to strengthen your hair, keep it really strong, and reduce the breakage. And it kind of does help untangle. And so is the Chi Silk Infusion. It's like a leave-in conditioner. I actually use all of the first one, and these are the second round kind of thing. So I have been really, really liking them. And in the morning, if I styled my hair, I would use the Chi Keratin Mist and the Silk Infusion again. I always have it as a base for my hair whether I style it or not. So if I don't style it, I'll do it also. And then if I do style it, I'll use a uh, the Iron Guard or Heat Protectant. The Dove Heat, heat Protectant. The bottle, the content is not heat protected with the bottle. Really good, actually. It's kind of cheap, too. It's around 3 or $4. I have used a bunch of heat protectant, and the best is probably the Chi Iron Guard because I like the spray. I'm not a big fan of any creams or any kind of liquid base material or anything like that put on my hair and then style it, use hairspray, whatever. So that's basically my hair routine. My current favorite, favorite, favorite hairspray. I usually use the Aussie Volumizing Hairspray, but the Aussie Instant Freeze is amazing, you guys. It is like concrete or something. When you put it in your hair, it stays. So I really, really like this. When it's windy and I I spray my bangs, it stays in place. Check it out. These are the two other hairsprays that I have. The Enro Flex Hold Hairspray. The Infinity White Sand Hairspray. This one smells really, 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 really good. And the thing I like about it is this is kind of flexible and then this is a little more stiff. And these are the other three shampoos. I really don't use them 24-7. I kind of alternate them because sometimes I'm lazy. The Chi isn't in the bathroom because I either take a bath upstairs or downstairs or whatever. I just kind of grab them. And they're actually really good. This is the Length and Strength and Garnier Fruities. This is the only kind that I use 
from them, from the shampoo. There are other kinds, like the shine or something like that, and volumizing, blah, blah, blah. But this is the best one. I really like it because it does strengthen my hair and keep it really glossy. Aussie, awesome volume condition, or shampoo. I don't know why I said conditioner. And it is great. It does volumize my hair. It smells really good. This one I actually haven't really heard of. It's the vitamin shampoo, and it smells really good. The Garnier, Aussie, and this are all a drugstore. I'm not really sure. I mean, I haven't heard of the brand before, but my mom bought a lot of these because they're on sale. So I just tried it, and it smells really good, so I just used it. Has anyone tried this before, and do you know if it's actually really good for your hair, or it's just kind of a, a gimmick? I do have a few things that I treat my hair with. This is just on rare occasions. I would do it once a month or less. Keep in mind that I don't use it a lot. This is to just give kind of an intense treatment for my hair, replenish it, to moisturize it, etc. It is called cholesterol hot oil and I think I had a different one that was like joba joba oil plant seed or something weird like that. I don't know what it's called. And I got this for $1.89 and what you do is you take this, you put it in a cup of hot water, you take it out, your hair already damp because you showered or whatever, and then you just put this all over and I think you leave it in for three minutes and you wear a cap thingy. And that's basically it. I got this at Sally's Beauty Supply. I'm just put it in here because I don't want it to leak out in case it does. This is $2.97. It's Lustra Silk Olive Oil Cholesterol. Completely reconditioned, dry, dull, damaged hair, enriched with pure, pure Mediterranean olive virgin virgin olive oil. I can't, I can't pronounce anything today, but this is what it looks like. I got it at a random um, hair place that had like a bunch of weaves and extensions and that stuff. I have used quite a bit of it, and what I do is just take a chunk of it, put it all over my hair, leave it in for three minutes, wash it out, and that's basically it. It's like a deep conditioner. That concludes my hair video. So basically it. All the products, I, it's all lined up in front of me because I put it on my living room table so then I can pick it up and talk about it and it is so much. There's so many things in front of me that it's kind of scary realizing how many hair products that I use but it's always important to take care of your hair, protect it. It's always necessary. Even if you don't style it a lot, it's still really really important to nourish it. I hope you guys got some tips. Learn something new, maybe, maybe not. I am going to film a video for hair to grow thicker if you want your hair to be thicker. I'm not sure if this will increase the speed of your hair, hair's growth, but it might. Like, right in this area, and I will link you to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you later.